hello twin flame thank you for being here for liking subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day so i'm going to do an almost personal twin flame reading for you and i'm going to tap in with your masculine's energy using the um, arcanum tarot i'm going to use the gilded tarot to tap in with the divine feminine energy your energy and i'm going to tap in with the journey with the twin flame cards so i already feel this fear being released because you may wonder what's going on but this is also about releasing fears of being together of making changes to be together whether that be you in your life or your twin in theirs it's showing you you're both moving forward and there's a lot of shifts and changes going on between now and the winter solstice so we're being guided by archangel gabriel to not get triggered or not take anything personally and to rise above doubt and fear and struggle and to let go of that and to replace it with faith and trust and to, you know, really understand this powerful love that you're in and that you're experiencing. Because when you have doubt or any struggle, it's because you're not trusting in the love. You're not trusting that all paths will lead home or that your masculine will find their way or that things will be sorted out, that the divine will sort it out. So it's a journey of trusting. So this is where you currently are today as I record this in real time on this journey. And if you found this video at a later date, it's a timeless reading. So take what resonates with you. But the real message today is to trust the journey, trust the love. Because we can trust the journey, but we need to trust in the love. The love that you have for them and the love that they have for you, which you feel in your heart and soul. And what you feel is always real. So we're going to shuffle the cards then, so thank you angels. Can we please have an almost personal reading for the Divine Feminine? So what's going on with the Divine Feminine right now, please angels, thank you. So I'm going to split the deck and get it ready here, taking out anything that's jumping. Can we have an almost personal reading please for the Divine Masculine? What's going on with the Divine Masculine right now, what do we need to know? Wow, okay. So cards just fell on the floor. There's a couple sticking out, so I'm taking them out. And these will be extra clarifying cards. And then we're going to use my Twin Flame Tarot, which I'll be creating soon. And this is for the Twin Flame Journey. So, wow, look at that. Thank you, angels. Okay, so I'm splitting the deck, taking out anything that's jumpy. So we're going to start with the clarifying cards, and then we're going to do a spread. So feminines then, wow, you're building a foundation. So this is what you want, your masculine and you together, possibly building a family, you know, having a home life together, security, commitment, love. That's what you desire. And that's what the angels are showing you there. For the masculines right now, they want to come forward to show you their love and they are currently on their way to do this. So they want to express their feelings to you and they're feeling this love inside because, you know, the Knight of Cups is an emotional night. You know, somebody wants to come forward with love and show you love and he's holding the cup in his hand there. And the cup is not just a cup of love or an emotion, it's a cup of commitment and it's a cup of union and that's what he feels and he's going through the ocean there or the water and you can see the water looks a bit turbulent. So he's going through turbulent times to get to you and this is because he's releasing himself from fear, you know, he's releasing himself from stress, from anxiety, from anything that he's tangled into. So this is also a card of releasing karmic situations, but mainly it's, it's about releasing fears, releasing worry, doubt, you know, vulnerability, struggle, because, you know, your masculine wants to come forward with the emotion, but is also very afraid, afraid of what you'll do, what you'll say you know, what will go on. So your masculine goes through this conflict in their mind. It's like a battle of chess in the mind between the ego and the higher self. So your masculine's lower self, their 3D self, goes into fear and their higher self, their 5D self, will try and pull them out of that fear and help them to understand and see that, you know, the conflict is only fear created in their mind and it's not real, it's illusion. 
It's all happening because you're going through shifts and changes on your spiritual path. And the Hierophant is about a spiritual commitment, a sacred spiritual relationship, a spiritual marriage, a spiritual bond. It's the ultimate card for the twin flame connection. But it's also a card about divinity and about the divine and the universe and the creator and the higher power and how we're always watched over from above. So it's about your connection with the Trinity. So this is also about you, the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine and the Creator or the Divine or the Universe, whoever you personally believe is up there watching over you. So this is your connection with the above. Okay, so it's a spiritual journey, a spiritual union, because it's not just about the 3D world. It's about the 5D world and it's about everything you learn on the way. Your divine masculine is loyal to you. So whatever they are showing to you on the 3D realm, whether they are in a karmic relationship, if they are saying they don't care, you know, their heart is loyal to you because you are two hearts becoming one. You know, you are one soul split in two bodies, but you have two hearts that become one. So your masculine's heart is loyal to you every day. And right now you're gaining balance and wisdom and understanding. So there's a lot of alignment coming in. This is why you may be seeing the number 69 or even mirrored numbers, which is really powerful and potent right now because you're aligning with each other's energy. So you're also experiencing both masculine and feminine energy because it's not just about the masculine being a man and the feminine being a woman. It's about masculine and feminine energy. We, we, you know, we go through all energy on this journey. And especially you understand this if you're in a same-sex relationship because you'll have moments where you experience masculine and feminine energy. And when we come into union, we've aligned and balanced out both energies. So we experience both energies, but it's more calm. It's like sometimes the masculines are so, you know, they're in this explosive energy of passion and sexual energy and chaos and it's like a volcano exploding but then after the volcano's erupted it calms down and that's the feminine energy coming in there okay so it's like fire and water you know the fire is very angry and the water is very calming and water puts out fire but fire also helps water to understand what it is so it's about the energy Okay? And I don't mean fire and water signs, this is about the energy. And you could say it's the same with the air and the earth. The earth is very grounding and the air is very dreamy, you know? So it's all the elements within you that you balance. So you're balancing all the energies of the feminine and the masculine energy and the aspects of the earth and, you know, the air and the water and the fire. And there, there it is, highs and lows. So you go through highs, you go through lows, you're both experiencing this. And the ultimate key to everything is self-love because when you love yourself, you love your twin. You know, when you forgive yourself, you forgive your twin. And when you love and forgive your twin, you love and forgive yourself. So everything you do to you, you do to them. And everything you do to them, you do to you. So you have to remember your divine mirrors, but you're also the same soul. So you're experiencing everything together. You know, so if you're feeling pain, your masculine feels that pain. If you're feeling regret or doubt or anger, your masculine feels all those things. And you also feel and mirror what they are going through. So this is why we move towards self-love. And this is why on the journey, and I've done a video on this in the Twin Flame archive, you can go and watch it, about how you move from, you know, the seven deadly sins into the fruit of the spirit. And what that means is, it's not a religious thing when I'm talking about it, it means you go through those things, you go through the ego things like fear, you go through pride and envy, you go through lust and gluttony, you know, you go through all those things and then you switch them in with self-love into healing, like the fruit of the spirit, which is compassion and, you know, patience and kindness and love and empathy and all these things. So you change who you are, you know, you change on the inside and then your outside will change. So your divine masculine is in a period of reflection right now, working things out, understanding things on a very, very deep Deep level, you know, releasing things, becoming more spiritual, more tapped in and tuned in. And that's why divine feminine, you need to be patient. So it's showing you here, you know, the masculines are healing, but so are you, you know, because you're letting go of the when. 
And that's the big one we learn as a divine feminine. You know, we want it now because we feel ready. We feel like we want, you know, to nurture our twin now to move into this relationship. We're like, why do we need to wait? You know, we're ready. But you're not ready because you're still healing the need of thinking you're ready or wanting it now, you know? So you're ready, but you're ready for what's to come. So you have to release expectation. You have to release conditions of the, I want it now. I need it now. Okay. Why not now? You have to release and let it be and come into peaceful energy and find peace in each moment, knowing that you are safe and that this journey is, is protected. And Archangel Honiel will help you to do that. A great angel to call on to bring in peace and to move you into the energy of the fruit of the spirit, which has been, you know, in the energy of empathy and compassion, understanding, because union is about giving and receiving in equal measure. Sometimes we give, 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 and we feel like we're not getting anything back. And then we get frustrated, we get confused, we get angry, we get bitter, we get, you know, it, all kinds of fear, emotion, we take things personally, but when we're in union, it's balanced, so what you give to your divine masculine, they will return back to you, and what they give to you, you give to them, so it's very balanced, and this is what you're working on right now, because when your masculine is in this reflective state, and when you're in the energy of, you know, kindness, patience, compassion, understanding, you're giving to each other, because you're not expecting anything, you know, when you're expecting to receive a message, you know, an outcome, all these things, it's pressures. So it's out of sync. Well, you're balancing this right now. So the masculines are showing you they want to come forward, but they're releasing the fear. Okay, and with the Knight of Cups coming up as well, it's very powerful. You know, it's showing you they want to come towards you here. They're doing the work they need to do, but they're also releasing the fear. You can see in this card here... You know, there's a lot of grey area there, a lot of fog around. So they're moving through confu confusion. So this is what's stopping them right now from speaking their truth. So it's showing you, yes, they are on the way, even if you feel they aren't, because this is in the block position. So you may be wondering, are they coming? Are they ever going to return to me? Yes, they are. You've got two powerful cups there showing you the truth, but they have to release the fear first. So they're moving through the fear right now. And when it happens, it's going to be unexpected. It's going to take you by surprise. So when you actually release the need to know, you know, and you release the when and you're too busy working on yourself, you know, to, to really notice, it, that's when they're going to come. That's when the knocks are going to come on the door and the texts and, you know, the messages. Because you're both going through a rebirth right now. You know, you're both going through endings and new beginnings. And this is all the shifts going on between now and the winter solstice. So this is about karmic endings and change. And we've also got the hermit for solitude. So a lot of thinking is going on right now. You know, you've got the masculine there reflecting, you know, taking time out, meditating, going within, breathing. And you've got the divine feminine being patient and, you know, taking it one step at a time. And this means there's a lot of quiet energy around. So this could signify the separation you know the time that you need to go within but it's showing you it's all falling into place and you know the reason we're asking the question is because your masculine may be behaving like a clown you know or they may be back and forth in their energy they may not be being true to themselves right now and they've got no direction so what they're doing is they're putting the swords down instead of running around with these swords that can cause pain and when they cause you pain you know it hurts them and instead they're going within to reflect okay so this is why they're stopping running around like crazy people and you know it's showing you that your masculine is becoming more focused so you may think at times your masculine is selfish you know, they don't think of you because they're not replying to your messages or being honest with you. But in spiritual truth, they're trying to protect your heart. And that's what's going to lead to victory. So you have to see this as victory, okay, over anything. Don't get triggered. Don't take things personally. Just relax and let go. That's what's going to bring your masculine towards you. And I love this because you've got the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is about love communication. It's about messages coming in. So if you're seeing the bees, you know, the hummingbirds, the spiders even, it's showing you your masculine is going to come to you with love because your twin is loyal to you. And the more that you understand that your masculine is loyal to you, the quicker this is going to happen. 
and it's going to bring abundance with it so it's going to also feel abundant a great time you know this is also the energy flowing in here of december to spring things moving forward shifts and changes you know the new year bringing in new love bringing in a new a new beginning okay when i say new love i mean a new beginning in love i don't mean a new love for you okay You've got the King of Swords, so your masculine is defensive. So I love that you've got the King of Cups and you've got the King of Swords, and you've got the the Knight of Cups and the, the you know the Knight of Swords. So it's showing you the same thing. So your masculine wants to come to you and wants to give you this love, but there's this defensive energy so they're making sure that they've got the facts right first they can speak their truth and there is a light at the end of the tunnel so trust in the timing of divine timing because he is your masculine she is your masculine they're moving into this stable energy so you have to wait for the stability to come in otherwise you're just going to get this wishy-washy you know energy of in and out of contact not knowing what they want or fearing what they do want so we've got the devil there. So the masculines are working through fears, insecurities, doubts to make your dreams come true. You know, it's showing this to you. You have to release the fear and trust that your dreams will come true because security is coming in. Ten of pentacles here. Again, we've got ten October time. It's showing you power coming in. Everything you want falling into place. But you have to release the fears. They're giving me fear now. It's starting to bubble up. So it's the fear. But the masculines are pretty obsessed with the divine feminine. Okay? And that's what you don't understand sometimes when they're quiet in this thinking time. Because they hide it away. They repress it. But in spiritual truth, they're obsessed with the future with you. Thinking about you wanting you. And it shows you that every single day in the cards that we do. Thank you. I had to release the fear. Then it came up because the devil card was there. So the masculines, yeah, the releasing fears. This is why we've got Ten of Swords, which is another card of fear. It's about resurrection. It's about releasing the pain. And this is where they are, you know, they're releasing the pain, the struggle. And this isn't the pain that you've caused them, Divine Feminine. This is pains of their past, core wounds, past life things, habits and belief systems that have been ingrained in them over time. And you may feel trapped by that energy. I also feel this can be, it's the restrictions in the world. You know, things are different right now. You know, we can't go where we want to go or, you know, do what we want to do. And we have to do it differently than we've ever done it before. So there's a lot of fear around this new normal and what it means. But still, your dreams will come true. I love this. You know, you've got the dreams coming true card twice here. Mirrored energy, remember. So the angels are saying to you, if any of you are worried about the pandemic and how it's affecting your connection, your dreams will still come true. No matter what restrictions are in place, no matter what the government says, it doesn't matter because your dreams will still come true. Everything in your heart is still being created. So your masculine misses you right now. And today, as I record this, this is the energy. So your masculine needs to see you on the 5D, okay? Your masculine is in fear, depression, anxiety right now, missing you. They're in their emotion. You know, cups are emotions. So your masculine is, you know, thinking about how bad it all is, how bad their life is without you. But you're that light there. You're the light that's kind of flickering and flashing. And they notice it and they're waking up to this. So your masculine knows they have to get their head out of the sand. You know, they're going to stop burying their head in the sand and do something about it. And that's why in 2021, there's a big completion coming in. You know, between now and December, there's shifts going on. And then in 2021, there's this completion energy where things are coming forward. So many twin flames are going to come into union in 2021. It's going to blow your mind. Okay, and there's twins coming into union between now and 2024, but I feel 2021 is a huge year for twin flames. So listen to your intuition. Trust in that, okay? Trust in the love, trust in the way you feel, because it's always real. So the intuition, the high priestess part of you and part of your twin is the part that knows. It's the part that's connected with source, the divine. It's your intuition, your higher self. It's your part of you that understands. So you're understanding everything on a deeper level. And I feel some of you know this, okay, that you're going to come into union in 2021. You can feel this energy. 
It's only a few months away. It's powerful. So don't give up because your masculine is showing you they are not giving up. And that may be your fear. You know, are they giving up? Have they moved on? Should I give up? Should I move on? And the angels are saying, no, none of you are moving on because you're meant to be. So you're not moving on. You're being replenished. You're being given what you need. This is why there's these these kind of hesitations about coming forward and it's because rejuvenation needs to happen and that's what this way at the very beginning you know the masculine's got this reflection card and healing and you know you've got the patience card and resting because you're both resting right now to get your strength back you know the nine of ones always reminds me of a soldier who's kind of stopped and the you know, getting their energy back, they're getting their breath back so they can get up and fight again. So this is the moment where, you know, the miracle's about to happen and you question it all. And Archangel Michael comes in and says to you, get up, warrior, get up, soldier. You know, you've got this, come on, stand up now, even if there's delayed messages. So again, where this has fallen and spread, it's subconscious fears, worries, doubts, and it's because there's delayed communication. Yet they're showing you they are coming forward with love. So you have to let go, you know, of what you, you're feeling in this ego moment. Because the ego brings in fear and illusion. The ego edges the goodness out. So it doesn't matter that there's no communication right now. Your masculine is communicating with you in other ways. Through music through telepathy, through dreams, through 5D love, through signs and synchronicities. And this is the sign, don't give up, don't give up on our love. So have confidence instead. So you're both building confidence. So your masculine right now is gaining the confidence to communicate to you how they feel. And you're gaining the confidence to release insecurity and doubt. And this is where you both currently are. And the outcome is, wow, well, look at this judgment. So this is showing you that the judgment day is coming. It's a day of reckoning, a day of making changes. So the masculines know that they may get judged if they leave their karmic situation, but they know it's what they need to do because they are currently judging themselves and they understand that there's choices that they need to make and things they need to do. And they are understanding that fate and destiny has got a hold of this to lead to union, to bring in the happy home, which is a life with you, their divine one, maybe babies with you, family with you, you know, friends and, you know, the whole caboodle, you know, the whole shebang, this is what they desire, so it's showing this to you, the outcome is judgment, so they have to judge themselves, they have to find their situation, the angels are with them, the trumpets are sounding, so, you know, you could say, oh, it's the end of the world, but it's the end of their world. In other words, they're, they're being reborn now into their true path, their true light, their true spiritual person or spiritual being of light. You know, they're becoming who they are. So in other words, they're being released from their 3D life and they're moving into their spiritual life. And this is the choice they have to make. And you have to give them the time to make this choice. And it's all in the hands of fate. It's all in the hands of destiny. And it's going to lead to union. And there you go. You know, it's showing this. The cup of love, protection. It's all meant to be. Feminines, you know, you have to understand that separation leads to love. Separation leads to union. This is what you're currently going through. You're in pain in the separation. You know, some of you have really accepted this now and you're in your power you know, you're standing strong and you're understanding more and more every day what it means, why you go through separation, how it heals you, how it grows you, and it leads to union. So the angels are showing you that, you know, you only need one card for the outcome. There's nothing else moving in that deck there because you're understanding what separation is. Whereas the masculines understand that in separation, they need to judge themselves, look in the mirror, find themselves, make choices trust in fate and destiny to lead them to, you know, their new beginning with you, so there's more involved here, so it's showing you, you know, you understand it on a much deeper level than the masculines do, but it doesn't mean they aren't understanding it, it means they are understanding it in a different way, because masculine energy is Mars energy, and feminine energy is Venus energy, in other words, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, again, remember, it's not about the man and the woman, 
Okay, it's about the energy. So this is about you understanding that you learn and grow in different ways. And the outcome is change. Shifts, changes going on right now. Everything moving forward with the Knight of Wands. Action. And it's all happening now. So the angel's saying to you, trust in this love and let go. So I'm going to end then with messages from the masculine and feminines. And if you are a member, yesterday I did a really powerful uh, members exclusive reading with these two decks of cards. So I also brought in the Arcanum Tarot. And, you know, I did a reading about the masculine and the feminines. I also used the masculine confessions and the feminine confessions decks to bring in a powerful message. So if you remember, you can go and watch that if you've missed it. Or if you want to become a member, all you have to do is hit the join button and you can become a member and watch that video. So let's get an energy then about this reading. What the masculine wants the feminine to know. Yeah, look at this. I need time to think. So powerful. That one card sums up their entire reading for the masculine. They need time to think, to process, to reflect, to work it out, to move through the grey areas, to move into the light. So divine feminine, what do you want to respond to your twin? You melt my heart. So you listening to that reading and understanding how they feel and what they're going through melts your heart. So you're saying to your masculine, you just melt my heart. All of you, everything you're going through, you melt me. You know, you just melt me. It's so beautiful. So you're melting into each other right now. Everything is moving forward and it's how it's meant to be. You know, I'm going to do to finish this personal, almost personal reading. Let's do an angel card. Let's see if I can find an angel card. I've got a tarot everywhere. I've got an angel card. I've got Archangel Gabriel here, okay? What does Archangel Gabriel want you to know? Well, look at this. Share your art with the world. And the message is it's time to allow others to enjoy your creative work. So it's showing you what you're doing now is creative, your creative work. And this is creative work that you're doing because you're wiping the slate clean. And that's what I'm feeling there, you know? You're creating your canvas, okay? You can set the scene now for what you want for your dreams to come true because your dreams are coming true, you know? So wipe the slate clean, forgive, let go, breathe and have a vision of what you want because that's what's going to create your future and it's going to create the life and the union of your dreams. Have a great day sending you so much love. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.